What I like about working on a show? Yeah. The paycheck's nice. No, uh, well, I, what I like about working on a show is, uh, as opposed to another television series, I think it's, I think it's uh, relaying a lot of good messages to kids, to people in high school who probably see this stuff every day, who see, you know, the, the drug dealers or whatever every day and they experience them, they hang out with them or whatever. But this gives them a chance to jump out of that and look from a different perspective and see it as it really is, as opposed to like, they're just in it and they don't really understand, you know what I mean? Look, I got two grand, you got rock. My deal's cross town. Come on, I still work for you. It's just I got a chance to do this one. 2,500. Otherwise, there's no point in it for me. I figured as much. There's a lot of peer pressure in high school. But from being able to sit back and watch, maybe they can learn something that they didn't really know when they see something. They say, oh, yeah, OK, I understand now. That's what he's doing. Well, that's wrong. When you're right up in it, sometimes it's hard to see. You know what I mean? Handsome? Those are my clothes from my locker. You know, it used to be a cop around here who had a shirt just like that. Then one day, just disappeared. Yeah, I found it in the locker. I guess I could have it dry clean if the guy ever came back. OK. <laughs> Fine. Sometimes they say late at night, you can still hear his ghostly voice. You think that's very funny, don't you? I get this incredible feeling that you're all great buddies. Is that reality yeah, or is that yeah. illusion? It's, it's true. I mean, uh, it's a very, it's a big bonus because we, we are so different in our backgrounds. You know, we, we all came up here and it's the first time we really met each other. And I think Peter and I pr met at the doctor's office before we came up here, but I didn't know anybody else. You know, we, we come up here and you're kind of apprehensive and you're excited and you're not sure how everybody's going to hit off. And as a professional, you don't, you don't expect to become buddies with the cast members. You know, that's a, you're a professional, you go in, you do your job, and you be courteous and you, you go home, you know. So it's, it's a nice feeling when you come in from day one, we all just sort of like, you know, all right, you know, let's do a good show. And we find out we really liked each other. And we're kind of in the same boat, you know. It's like being away from home in, in camp or college or something. We're here, and our friends and families are elsewhere. And we kind of like form our own family. I really like being a cop. You know, I really like this job, man, but I, feel, I just feel so helpless. I mean, it's her word against mine, and mine doesn't even count. Fuller knows that. He's going to fight for you. We're all going to fight. But the only fighting being done right now is between me and the system. Producers are wonderful, you know. They set that, they try to set the environment where everybody, you know, can talk out things that's like bugging us on a personal level or on an artistic level. And, I mean, it's hard when you got, you know, five people working together. There's, uh, realistically, you know, let's be real, you, nothing is, uh, is heaven. There's always going to be, you know, little knit knacks because uh, everybody have their little things, you know, but we work through them and, and I think it shows on the, it shows on the, uh, on television that the chemistry is good. I just went over to the house to talk to her. That's not the way it got filed. Ask her. Ask her mother. You were out of line. No excuses. Her father's got an injunction. You're not to go within 100 yards of Joy, her family, or her house. Right. 